In this video, I'm going to talk about Bellum for CCTV. If you want to connect your analog cameras over a long distance, you can use this solution. So, keep watching! Okay, let's talk about the transceivers, also known as Bellums. The popular name is Bellums, but it's better you call them transceivers, all right? So here, let's understand how it works. Here's the connection details. It's pretty simple. You just need to connect your BNC in one side and the other side, you connect your UTP CAT5E, all right? You're gonna see some details later in a video, but here, let's just understand how it works first. So basically here in an analog system with passive balloon, all right, you have your cameras, analog cameras here and your DVR. Then you need to run the cables and use the balloon between them, okay? So here I run a cable, a coaxial cable, and then I connect my coaxial cable to the balloon. Uh, it's a passive model here. Then you run your UTP cable, a CAT5E cable. On the other side, you connect another balloon, a passive balloon again, and a little bit of coaxial cable again to your DVR. And you do this again with all of the cameras. You connect both sides with the balloon. In both sides, you connect to the device, the camera here and the DVR here. And then, of course, you start recording your videos. So here with passive, you can go from 200 to 300 meters, depend of the motor you're buying here, depend of the quality of your cable, but it's around two to 300 meters. Here's the model you're gonna use. So you need to buy them in pairs. So you can connect here that way. We are connecting one here and another here. Or you can use like the single ones here. And here you can use a box with a lot of input for different balloons, right? So just use a box here in your rack would be much better than use single ones in this side at least, right? So here again, analog system now with act active balloons. It's the same thing. In this side, you connect the analog cameras, but now you're using a transceiver that's active. I can call them balloons or transceivers, all right? So I connect the other one here with the, after the UTP cable, I connect the other one here. And again, an active receiver, right? So I have a transmitter here and the receiver here, and then I connect to my DVR. And again, I can use different transceivers here, so one for per camera, and I connect of them to my DVR. And of course, I'm recording again the video I'm getting from the cameras. And active models, you can go up to one kilometers. Of course, again, depend if you're using good quality cables and good quality transceivers, right? Here's the model, you can buy them from NVT. I'm talking about um, NVT here because NVT is top on this kind of stuff, right? They're a good manufacturer of these devices. Of course, in the market, you can find another brand, but NVT is a pretty good one. And here you can connect your power supply because they're active. You must connect power supply also in each one of those, right? And here are some examples of uh, different devices you can buy. Here is a box. So you can connect all of those at the same time. You don't need to connect one by one at your DVR, at, at least in your DVR side, you just put your DVR on a rack and also you put this box on a rack and then you can have every connection here coming to this box. Okay, there are also uh, different models uh, like this one. You have here extra cable so you can better uh, do a better connection in your camera. And here you have, uh, you have SDI transceiver using for SDI camera. Here's another brand, it's not NVT, here's a Moxie Lab, just an example of another brand. I will leave all the links here in the description, okay? So you can check them, you can check the price and everything else, all right? And now let's take a look at the video where I'm connecting the balloon to the camera and to the DVR. So here I have the balloons. Back here you can see a connection diagram. And there are different types of balloons, depend on the model you have. You can use 200 meters for TVI or 300 meters for CVI and AHD, right? Just remove them from the package. And we can see here that this side you can connect to the UTP cable. 
a CAT 5E, and the other side you're going to connect to the camera or DVR. And here we can see the model for HD, TVI, and TVI. All right, it's pretty simple to use. You just need to connect them to the cables. You just need to use a CAT 5E cable. You just remove here the cover of the cable using a scissor or a cutter. Just be careful to not cut the cable. All right, so just remove here the cover, and then you can separate the wires. And then you just connect the wires here. Just be careful with the polarity. Here we go, make sure everything's well connected. And then you have this side to connect the BNC, and the other side to connect the CAT 5E. You just connect to the balloon, and here you can cut this extra cable. So the signal just leave the balloon goes through the cable, arrive in the other side, goes again to the balloon, and you can connect to your camera or DVR. Here we go, the connection I have here, DVR, a camera with the BNC cable already connected. So here the signal goes to the balloon, right polarity here. Again, here you can cut the extra cable. So the signal leaves the cable, goes to the other side, Arrive here again in the other balloon. It's a HD TVI or TVI model, you can use any of those. And then you just connect the BNC part on your DVR. All right, now you know how to use balloons for CCTV. But if you want to learn more, just visit my website, learnccTV.com. I have the link here in the description. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.